this is Soul, and Scorpio, this is your week ahead, uh, starting October 31st and ending November 6th. Wow, okay. So first and foremost, uh, I want to wish all the Scorpios who are celebrating their birthday this week a very happy and safe birthday celebration. Happy Halloween for all those Scorpios who celebrate Halloween as well. These messages here will be for Scorpio suns, moons, risings, venuses, singles, couples, Scorpios who are into same-sex loving energies. Scorpio, this week I am using the Witch's Tarot, you know, how appropriate, right? And then I'm throwing a Halloween Oracle message for you guys from the Halloween uh, Oracle deck, okay? So I'm going to read the passages straight from the guidebook there. Uh, so it should be interesting. Uh, there are some reversals here, Scorpio, so um, <clears throat> just to let you know. Let's get underway here just to see what's going on here for you potentially this week. October 31st, ending November 6, 2022. Messages for Scorpio. So let's do three good cuts here, Scorpio, and begin your messages. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see. First card that uh, we're going to start off with is the, oh, we got the Strength card, Major Arcana. That's one of the cards that's in reverse. Okay, so holding on to something, um, not wanting to release it and letting uh, the situation go. This is open general reading here, Scorpio, so it could be a relationship. It could be something uh, incorporated with your family, your friendships. Um, it also could be uh, work-related matters. This is a fear of having to uh, release something and let it go. Only you know what that is uh, because the strength card is usually when it's in the upright is a very powerful card where you have the strength, you have the courage, you're feeling ferocious um, and you're feeling, you know, like secure within yourself and your relationships and whatnot. But when it's in the reverse, it's the total opposite. You're having some sort of fear of losing something. So whatever that is for you. So the uh, strength card here, Major Arcana, uh, represents fire. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, it may have some sort of connections to do with fire signs as well. Up next is the um, hangman. That's also in the reverse. So any decision, now this is just neutral, so don't really go off on the deep end about the hangman being in the reverse, okay? Um, I only reversed 10 cards, so now you have two of the uh, 10 that uh, I have reversed. So the hangman just simply means that whatever decisions or whatever actions you're going to take, you thought it through. Scorpio, and now you're ready to move forward, okay? You've collected all the energies. Uh, if it was related to, um, you know, again, your work matters, your relationship matters, family matters, you're ready to, you know, go ahead and move. Uh, usually um, the hangman, Major Arcana, is like things hanging in the balance. When it's in the upright, sitting on the fence, air is suspension. When it's in the reverse, it's the complete opposite, okay? No more sitting on the fence. There's no air of suspension. And then for all those who need to make, um, you know, any moves this week or, you know, related to actions or decisions, you're ready to go. All right, following the hangman, Major Arcana, you have two. Now you have the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is, um, okay, that fear. Always that fear related to, um, I oftentimes get long distance stuff, okay? So again, it could be, you know, family members, it could be romantic um, partners, it could be friendships. I usually get a break of communication here and you're getting yourself all upset, worrying, concerning yourself, anxious possibly, possibly not sleeping, um, you know, properly and whatnot because you're worried about something, okay? It also, too, mirrors the strength card that's in the reverse. Remember I said the strength card in the reverse has something to do with a fear of releasing and letting uh, something go. And here it is right here. You're fearing to let go of something, or you're fearing uh, that there may have been a break in communication uh, with someone, And uh, but you also have to uh, make sure, Scorpio, that... Um, Whatever the fears that are generating in your mind, in your head, that you're bringing uh, to your subconscious, you have to make sure that shit is real. Make sure it's tangible, you know, not something that, you know, we're conjuring up in our head and our mind, um, playing it 
you know, playing it out like a movie and then having some sort of end results. Normally, nine times out of 10, we, uh, everybody is capable of doing this and guilty of doing this as well. So you're no different. And then the things that we think about, the worst things that could possibly be going on, don't even turn out to be the uh, the way or you know that we have conjured it up in our mind. So just be careful here. You're not feeling trapped. You know exactly what you need to do, and uh, there is some. Uh, I do feel that there is some sort of breaking communication here. All right. So following the Eight of Swords, that represents Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. We have the Emperor. At least you'll be in control. If you're in fear of losing something or worried about something, concerning yourself about something, the Emperor here is just telling you that you know you're going to be in control. All right. You're not going to just lose it, <laughs> if I can say that. Emperor also, too, is law and uh, order. This is a card of authority. Some, some of you may be, you know, asked to, um, you know, lead, you know, boss positions, um, maybe thrown into positions of authority. I usually get the emperor where if I'm reading for whatever sign it shows up for, that father figure from the other side has um, some sort of connection to Scorpio. He's coming through. Um, they themselves may have worked in law and enforcement. Okay, police officers, judges, lawyers, or have some sort of capacity uh, in connection with law and enforcement. They're just um, coming through. You know, they still have their um, personality. If they were coming across as, a, you know, very authoritative or stern and, you know, whatever I say goes type of energy, then that's the emperor. The emperor here represents um, Aries, the other fire signs, uh, Sagittarius and Leo. Again, I feel that Scorpio is dealing with some sort of fire energy. Now, also, too, just note that the uh, emperor here uh, is all about that control. If it was in a reverse position, then it would just mean that you're losing control, just like the strength card, having to, um, you know, release some sort of fear or letting go of something or someone, um, and then manipulating. When the emperor shows in the reverse, it's always about losing control and manipulation. So it's not. So it's favorable for you. You got three major arcanas here. All right. So following the emperor here, now we have the uh, seven of swords. Uh, okay. Seven of swords is always the return of energy from your past. And look, it mirrors the five. I'm sorry. It mirrors the eight of swords. Look at this combination. Seven of swords, eight of swords, strength card in the reverse. Wow. So this person here is uh, thinking of you that um, may contact you, okay, this week. Uh, they have nothing new to add to the table or the plate, as I always say. They have not resolved any conflicting energies, uh, you know, within themselves. They just present more challenges. So just be, uh, you know, discerning of anyone who you may have had a connection with. Now, again, Scorpio, just to let you know, this is an open general reading. So this could be exes. This could be family members. This could be friends. OK, just keep that in mind. Uh, also, too, this might be a week for you guys to uh, stumble upon something that you placed, put down, forgot about. I don't usually like to associate, you know, robbery or, you know, thievery uh, with the Seven of Swords here. It's just usually material things that I get. So whatever it is that you may have, you know, uh, put down, forgot about, thought you lost and whatnot, that energy resurfaces for you. Air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Seven of Swords. Now we have the Eight of Cups. Okay, so look, the Eight of Cups is right underneath the um, Strength card here. So it's not... Always about you having to, um, you know, be dealt with a disappointment or um, I just more or less read it that you don't want to deal with any more drama. OK, coming in from other aspects of your connections, your family members, your romantic partners, your friends, just having to um, walk away from that energy. You know, you just. You're done with it. Okay, Scorpio, you're done with it. So it may have a connection for somebody specifically because it is underneath that uh, strength card. And that strength card is still a fear of losing someone or something. Okay, trying to hold on to someone or something. So the Eight of Cups here could be, um, you know, that 
situation where it could be a disappointment for you if you have some sort of fear of losing something or someone. This here represents your energy, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. Wow. I was hoping better en uh, energy for you guys, especially for the Scorpios who are celebrating their birthday this week. Up next is the uh, Eight of Pentacles. Okay, that's a blessing. Eight of Pentacles is the uh, card of uh, balance. It's the card of focusing on your work, paying attention to details. This could be someone still getting a job and or a pay raise. Money coming in for unexpected sources. Eight of Pentacles represents Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. All right, following that, we have the, um, now we have the Nine of Pentacles that's in the reverse, okay? Card number three that's in the reverse. Now, normally, this is my stamina card here. And uh, the stamina card here is rewarding yourself uh, for some hard work that you have done. Now, I'm going to read this differently because I feel that it's still a very positive card here uh, to receive. It's just that, you know, with the reversal, there's still, for some of you Scorpios here, a work in progress. Now, that could be related to your work, your actual work, something that you're working on, have been working on, um, whether you're with, um, you know, you're working with someone or you're working solo, uh, but there's some aspect of having to uh, continue to work on something, to build up on something. Uh, maybe the reversal is about Scorpios who are trying to or have been working hard for, you know, uh, financial independence, whatever promotion or um, pay raise that you were looking for, that's still forthcoming, but there's something that is uh, either required or necessary in order for it to come to fruition. So you have yet to pay yourself back for the hard work that you have done or have been working on, whether it's a relationship, whether it's your actual work, could be friendships or something else that's going on. This is still a pleasant card to receive in the reverse. All right, so following the uh, Nine of Pentacles that represents Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, now we have the Page of Wands. Okay, so this Page of Wands here, in the aspect of, I know you guys are going to hate me now for all these damn reversals, but this is why I like to use reversals because they mean different things uh, and oftentimes doesn't always mean uh, disaster. Okay, so but the page of wands, even if it's in the reverse position, that means look, it's still an aspect of some sort of news that's coming in. Maybe a, a hobby or some sort of creative pursuit is um, being put off by you for uh, another date or another time. So this is still a, a positive card in the reverse position. Okay, so there could be. Uh, decreased energy, though, it could be uh, a lack of passion. Things aren't being as intensified as you would like things to be. And again, that's the reversal of the Page of Wands. But there is some good news and some sort of surprise that is forthcoming. But something else may be uh, holding it up or delaying it at this time. Uh, the delay will come in from the uh, reversal of the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, so the Page of Wands here represents Fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And the final card here for you for this stretch is the Seven of Cups. All right, so actually the Seven of Cups is like a blessing. It's an option card. Um, when the Seven of Cups uh, presents itself, just like the moon, I always say that there's somebody who um, goes into some sort of deeper aspect of expressing their emotional self to you. Now, you could be doing that too to somebody else. And there are options that are available um, for you to pick and choose from, from any other areas or aspects of your life, Scorpio, just make sure that you're using your uh, intuition to make sure that you're choosing the correct thing for you, okay? But this is a very pleasant card, and um, someone expresses themselves, all right? Regardless of the fact that it's sitting underneath that Seven of Swords, and it could relate to an ex-romantic partner, but somebody goes deeper and expressing their feelings for you. So this is uh, your energy, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. Um, so let's get on to the shadow energy here. And the shadow energy is the Eight of Wands. Okay, we have, uh, I'm only drawing three. Wow, look at this shit. Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands in the upright. So that's good communication, effective communication. Six of Cups in the reverse. All right, that's usually, uh, could be connected to the Seven of Swords. Usually when the reversal of the Six of Cups, 
someone is thinking about you on a good emotional level and the upright, but when it's in the reverse, this could be, um, you know, people wanting to uh, connect with you, reconnect, recommunicate. Uh, again, ex-lovers, it could be friends, it could be family members. Normally, I would say mm -mm, it's not a good time for you emotionally um, to deal with that energy here because there's still, still something that needs to be um, healed or repaired in terms of the relationship or connection that you may have had. All right. So we have the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands here. Then uh, just like the Page of uh, Wands in the reverse is still good news. So there's some sort of element. This is the communicator card. So effective communication, whatever you need to express this week to anyone uh, will be well received. And the same information coming to you from others will be well received, um, you know, by you. If you were waiting for something important to arrive in the mail, if you order something online, parcel packages will be arriving this week. Texting, a lot of communication going on. Six of Cups here, well, Eight of Wands here, Fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Six of Cups in the reverse. Your energy, uh, Scorpio, um, Cancer, and Pisces. And then the other one here, I didn't even take a look, is the uh, the World card. Okay, so the World card at Major Arcana is in the reverse. And the World card still is a uh, powerful, positive uh, energy. Uh, when it's in the reverse, the only message that comes out of this here for me is that there is a cycle of energy that is either trying to complete itself um, within you or within your situation. And then once the cycle is complete, it, it normally turns up. And then, you know, we can say that one cycle has completed itself. A new cycle is about to open up. This is still a very positive card. The opportunities are still forthcoming, regardless if the... Um, world card is in the reverse the opportunities are still coming remember the nine of pentacles in the reverse is about it's some sort of delay okay whether it's a relationship money uh promotion anything that you can attach to any types of delay this is still a relationship card okay as well so something is being held up uh, but something very positive is uh coming to you uh, so the energy is you know maybe fluid um, after this week, and then all the things that we're discussing right now here could change in an instant. So, you know, do not despair here, Scorpio. All right. Yes. I would have felt better if you had, you know, uh, better energies here, but you know, it is, this is life. Okay. This is what we deal with. We have these challenges and, um, if we didn't have challenges, then what the hell are we here for? Right. <laughs> Everything can't be, um, you know, hunky dory and happy all the time. We have to have something that disrupts us just so our souls can grow and learn from something. And how do we learn and grow from the people that we are connected to? Family members, friends, romantic partners, and so forth. All right, so let's pick a card here right quick. Uh, this is taking longer than I thought it would, I guess because of dealing with all of the uh, reversal messages here. So let's see, a card for... Scorpio for Halloween. What is the Oracle message for Scorpio? And we have midnight. And this one here says the most uh, magical hour of all. That is your Halloween Oracle message. Let's see what the... Um, now, if it's lengthy, I'm not going to be reading too much. I'll just probably read some snippets. And again, these uh, cards aren't numbered. So maybe they're alphabetized. And yep, they are. Okay, so it says here, um, the middle of the night, midnight is the hour in which it is believed that ghosts, witches, ghouls, and magic are most likely to be active. Transition times such as noon, the time between tides or even dark moon, are traditionally power, powerful times for magical transformation. In some Christian traditions, the witching hour is seen as 3 a.m. because it is the opposite to the time that Jesus is said to have died at 3 p.m., but there is some consensus that midnight is the time of greatest magic, particularly around Halloween. As soon as the clock strikes midnight on Halloween, it is said that the spirits flow forward through the veil and, if benevolent, bring positive messages. If not so benevolent, they are mischievous and play tricks at best or at worst, cause havoc. Allow yourself to relax into the benevolent darkness of midnight you may feel this is your darkest hour but know that the light will return again 
The dawn always follows the darkest night. Know too that it is important to recognize that we are all that we all have darkness within us, just as we have light. And this isn't something to hide from. All right, so this is what I have for you this week. Uh, Scorpio, if you can, if you want to, please give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Be safe. Happy Halloween. Happy birthday once again to those who are celebrating. And remember, this is just me interpreting the energies here. Uh, take what resonates. Leave the rest alone. Keep smiling for me. And I will talk to you real soon. Bye.